Welcome, this is the Winko 14 inch honing steel. I've had this uh, honing steel for about two weeks now and I've used it quite a few times. And the first thing I can tell you, it's way bigger than it looks on camera. 14 inches is just the length of its uh, cutting surface here. The handle extends back and it has an overall length of uh, 19 inches. In this review, I'm going to be breaking it up into three parts. First, I'm going to talk about functionality. How does this product perform day to day? Second, I'm going to talk about fit and finish. What are the details? And third, I'm going to talk about value. Are you getting your money's worth? So let's get started. Functionality. This is where this product really, really, really shines. It's got this uh, very nice, comfortable handle. Very solid, sturdy, feels sturdy. There's no wobbling. You hold it and it's just solid. You can work with a big heavy knife on it and it feels solid enough that you can do it confidently. It's got this nice, thick bolster here. When you're honing your knives over here, you don't have to worry about hitting it. It's not gonna crack. It's big, it's solid, it's thick. You have nothing to worry about. got this uh, nice little loop at the end. Now this might seem like a small feature but like I mentioned this thing is massive it's not gonna fit in a lot of drawers. So you've got this little loop here to hang it. Somewhere out of the way but handy enough that you can grab it when it's needed. And it's long enough. This is this is a big one. If you've got some longer knives this is perfect for it. A 12 inch knife this is just the right size. It'll work great. Now let's talk about fit and finish. This is where this product has a couple of deficiencies. If you look at the metal surface on it, you'll see little tiny, they look like little tiny imperfections, maybe impact grooves or something along those lines. I'm not sure you can see it on camera, but it'll show up in some of the photos that I uploaded. There's one of them over here where my fingernail is at. It doesn't seem to have an impact. I've purposefully ran knives right over these little dents and it does not seem to impact the edge at all. So it's more from a visual perspective. And finally, value. This uh, honing steel costs about five, six dollars. It's very, very cheap. Now, I was a little bit worried. I was thinking, what kind of metal do they use so that it comes out so cheap? And I did some scratch tests on the metal because it doesn't say on the website what kind of metal exactly this is. It tells you it's some kind of stainless steel, but nothing beyond that. So I played around with some files, some different types of metals, did some scratch tests. And as far as I can tell, this is a very good quality hardened steel. It's going to work just fine for your German knives. It's going to work just fine for your typical uh, big box store cutlery. What I'm not sure about is how this will perform against some of the harder steel knives because I don't know what kind of metal this is. I would love to have the website description updated to tell us what exactly this is made of. But from what I can tell, it's going to be solid enough for most cutlery. Price-wise, this is great. I think you're going to have a hard time finding a large sharpening steel like this for less than $10, and this one's half that. It's a great deal, great value, I highly recommend it. I'm very happy with it. 